Alright guys, it's me. This will be my December update. Uh, basically what I've got going on. Um, and everything else. Um, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll crack on straight away. With my builds. What I'm building. And I'll uh, then move on to me, uh, what I've purchased this month. And... Uh, and other stuff so uh, yeah anyway first of all well I'll bear with me a sec it's uh, my uh, striker I've actually I say I've finished the build and then managed to get some paint on it and if you can see that it's uh, tell you what it's lovely lovely um, kit absolutely to what it's stunning yeah I actually managed to get some primer I managed to get some good weather the other day so I managed to get some primer on uh, I don't know if you can see that I mean the detail on this is outstanding uh, you know but it's absolutely outstanding it's brilliant oh hang on <laughs> he says it was working at one point. Yeah, it still does, which is good. Yeah, so that's that prime. But again, um, my problem is I have now is I bought a chameleon, and even though I've got a spray booth, I I tend to do the get my spray booth in the kitchen because I haven't got the room where I am up here. I have the pipe going out the window, but you still get, you know, some of the fumes and whatever. And uh, it, he don't like it. He tends to not like it. So, yeah. So I'm having to wait for the decent weather so I can prime my models, kits. And I've, I've managed to get a, couple, a day, so I managed to get this primed. So that's that. But I tell you, I'm looking forward to getting the paint and getting the right colours and getting it all uh, completed. Whether it'll be this side of Christmas, I doubt it. But I'll... I mean, it's been ongoing now for probably the whole of this year, I think. This one's one that I went back to, but I just tend to, I decided oh, I was going to crack on with it and get it done. So, yeah, but lovely. Love it. Very nice kit. Right. Uh, second one I did was while I was waiting to paint that, I decided to do the AFE Club Scimitar because this is another one, a part of my little fetish I've got at the moment for for British armour. Not a bad kit. Very basic, but again, still nice. It's uh, come with a metal barrel. It was lovely. But I had to go at doing the, um, I bought some, uh, how do you pronounce it? Is it fuel? Fuel? Anyway, you, you know what I'm on about. I bought some tracks. Because I basically, I bought some for the Warrior that I'm building, that I'm, gonna, that I'm starting to build. Um, and I've never built them before, and I managed to get, I got some for this, so I thought this would be my test of building them, and I'll tell you what, they're absolutely lovely, although I did prime them, which I'm beginning to regret, because it's chipping off, maybe I shouldn't have primed them, I don't know, but anyway, I've done it now, so it's a learning, if I should have, shouldn't have done it, I don't know, but they're beautiful, and they're, they're very easy, I, I was very surprised at actually, how easy they went together, you put them together, I was, uh, I was quite impressed how how easy it was, yeah, it, it was easy, it wasn't quick, but it, was, it wasn't difficult, I enjoyed them anyway, and when I tried them on, on like a dummy build, mm, it was, it, it just sat lovely, I was going to do a video of it before it got primed, but because I had the weather, I just got it primed, 
So that's the next one that I want to try and do. But I've, uh, I'll tell you what I've got with that. I bought these. Hang on. They're one of my purchases this month. On the wind flags. Because um, on the, I'll show you the cover. Hang on. On the cover, you've got the flag flying on the aerial. And I uh, thought that looks quite cool. So I bought these. A couple of quids from, obviously, they come from Passion Models. Never tried them before, never used them before, but it's double sided flags that you can, you know. So, yeah, that's for that. So, that's one of my purchases for this, this, this month. So, yeah, I'll give them a go with that. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll look alright. Uh, but again, I'm going to do it in the um, desert desert scheme. I've got a thing for that at the moment. <sighs> Bit of a, I wouldn't, you could say a fetish. I don't know. Well, I've just got this thing from at the moment. So that's that. Another build I've got on the go at the moment. Another build I've got on the go at the moment. Here's my Buffalo 6x6 MPCV, um, which is a Bronco kit. This is, again, it was a beautiful kit. It's just one that I've, it's sort of come to a bit of a stance at the moment. Sorry about that, battery died. Yeah, uh, where was I? Yeah, my Buffalo. Um, lovely kit. Just one of them kits I've started it and I just got to the point where it was like oh I don't know it's just sat on the back burner now again but I will get around to finish it at some point but it is it's a Bronco kit it's very nice actually but yeah it's now sat on the uh, on the old back burner but it's there and I'll get around to it eventually now I'll just go my warrior, I'm I'm starting my warrior, which is taking for some reason. I'm just going all out on the warrior. And I'll show you in a minute. But yes, that's another kit that I've another one that I'm doing. That's uh, um, so that's that one. Just bear with me again. Oh, yeah. Put that back up there. My Bismarck that I started. I'll show you that. I've got no further on this one. It's been sat up there for a while. Again, it's something that I will get round to uh, to finishing at some point. Um, yeah, it's, it's getting a bit of dusty, to be fair, but. It's another one of them that I will get to finish. I uh, I started all out on it and then I think I burned myself out a little bit having never built one before. But uh, I will get round to finishing it. But yeah, I'm just showing you that's where it is at the moment. It's basically nowhere. Uh, but uh, I will finish it. Well, you've got to wait you can't not finish them, I suppose. So I'll just bear with me, I'll put that one back. Right. So uh yeah, and then the next thing I've got on the go. I've just started it again. Just started it. Is uh me warrior, the academy warrior. I haven't done a lot. I've only just started it. I've just started cleaning up the wheels. But as you, I don't know if any people remember. I've seemed to have bought the kit. I started one before. I messed up. Things broke off, and I just lost it. So I bought another one. It was an expensive kit. But then I remember I bought some little tracks. I bought a 
photo except for it. Uh, oh, it's inside the box. I bought some mirrors for it and everything else. Well, uh, this is where I go for my purchases now this month. I've done it again. I made another purchase for the Warrior. The Black Dog British Warrior accessory set. Now, oh, on, I'm sorry. Loads of uh, basically resin uh, stowage for it. Side hammocks for the side for the stowage. So yeah, I'm, it's it's uh, I'm going all out on this one. I don't even know why the warrior took my fancy. It just. It just did, and I just seem to be can't stop myself at the moment. Yeah, much the man, she who must be obeyed, disgust. So I think I've spent three times what the model was worth on. Uh, I'd have to market for it, but hey, you know, I think that's what makes it fun, isn't it? Uh, and it makes it a bit of a learning curve for me because one, I've never done that stuff before. Two, I'd never done the tracks, but I have now. I've never really gone all out on the photo etch. But again, I shall see. Obviously, I've watched videos before where people, you look at the kit, see which bit's better, the photo etch, or, you know, I'm not going to put a photo etch on for the sake of it if the part that's on the kit is just as good. But again, it's a big learning curve for me. So that's that. That's what I'm on at the moment. And then I made one more purchase this month. Now, because I bought the Challenger recently, I've been trying to get some um, British, modern British troops. Um, all I've seemed to find is single resin figures. And one day I just happened to be looking on uh, Flea Bay, and I found that. Yeah, uh, Dragon British Desert Rats. So, I tend to try and create some kind of dio if possible while using the Warrior or the completed Challenger. I'm not sure yet. I mean, it gets four, you get four figures. So, yeah, so that, that's basically me. This uh, That's me. That's everything I've... That's, that's it. That's my uh, busy, busy, busy December. So, right, guys, I think that's it for me. I'm just starting to waffle and mumble. So I'll uh, crack on. And if I don't get another video done before, and make sure you all have a good Christmas or holiday, whichever your, uh, you know, whichever you prefer. And I'll uh, no doubt speak to you all in the new year. So, uh, once again, Merry Christmas, happy modelling, stay safe. Bye.